Every summer, a team of volunteer freedivers hold their breath in hopes of finding the edge of underwater meadows of eelgrass. Eelgrass is home to hundreds of different creatures, young rockfish, kelp greenling, baby octopus, crabs, shrimp, herring lay their eggs on eelgrass, and so do squid. At low tide, you might find a great blue heron foraging in eelgrass for fish, river otters harvesting crabs, even wolves forage in eelgrass beds. Eelgrass typically grows in calm bays and estuaries in coastal waters, locations of high human population and high environmental impact. Some impacts include shading from docks, dragging boat anchors, boat motors, and log booming. Volunteers from the Vancouver Apneist Freediving Club help community groups map and monitor the perimeter of eelgrass beds. Veteran mappers show the new volunteers the ropes. Thirty-four community groups along the British Columbia coast have been trained to map and monitor eelgrass. They are members of the Seagrass Conservation Working Group, along with scientists, public agencies, First Nations, and graduate students working to conserve and restore eelgrass habitat. Shore base surveys are another way to map eelgrass and also monitor the health of eelgrass meadows over time. Community volunteers are trained to count and measure eelgrass shoots to calculate density and productivity of an entire bed. Surveys are also conducted by boat with a towed underwater camera, as most eelgrass grows below the lowest tide. Eelgrass maps are an important tool for conservation and stewardship. If we know where eelgrass grows, we can work with our communities to protect it. Members of the seagrass group also restore eelgrass where it was historically abundant. Eelgrass shoots are harvested by divers from lush beds, and volunteers help by tying anchors onto them. Divers plant the shoots in suitable substrate. It's not long before marine life find it and take cover. Want to participate in eelgrass conservation, restoration, and education? Contact the Seagrass Conservation Working Group.